Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm so happy that you took some time to stop by today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy that you stopped by. So today, um, I decided to follow the footsteps of my sweet, sweet friend styled by Gwenny. She did a few videos back, um, the top 10 items that she would replace if something happened, um, which was originally inspired by Fabulous Irene, who also did that video. And I thought it was such a fun idea. I decided to play along. It's not a tag video, but if it's something that inspires you, go for it. And for those of you who don't have a YouTube channel, please comment below. I would love to know what your top 10 items are in your luxury collection that you would replace. So let's get started. Number one, these are not in any particular order, by the way, so I'm kind of just going to go with the flow. But number one item I would replace if something were to happen would be my Aspinall of London camera A bag. I love this bag. I love it so, so much. Um, it's super, super user friendly. It just goes with everything. It's my easy, fuss free, hands free bag. Um, I use this when I go to school. So I use my tote and for my bag, for my handbag, I carry this. I carry both. I don't just put everything in my tote because um, also when I'm going to work, cause I just, these are my like work and school bag, I guess my literally everyday bag. Um, because in my tote, which is actually right here, uh, this is part of my top 10, this Longchamp Le Piège Neo large tote. It's really full right now because I'm about to leave for school right after this. Um, but this bag I would definitely replace as well. Um, but all that to say is in here I'll have, you know, my coffee, my lunchbox, um, computer notes, um, my pencil case, all that kind of stuff, okay? My scarf, all of that's in there. And then I'll have my compact purse with all my handbag stuff. So both of these items I would replace. Um, this bag... I would love to get it in blue, navy blue, so hopefully, you know, one point there'll be a sale and I'll pick it up in the navy blue. I just adore this bag more than I actually expected to. I keep reaching for it. I think my Aspinall of London bags are probably my favorite bags in all of my collection. Honestly, I am such a fan of that brand. Um, and this bag, since we are on the topic, I absolutely adore it. It's weatherproof, um, so easy to clean, lightweight. The straps get softer as you use them. It's a fabulous, fabulous bag. I could use it, you know, as a carry-on in the plane. I'm not worried of it getting dirty, like putting it on the floor. I'll just wipe clean it off and it'll be as good as new. Super, super durable. And when that bag gets super worn and raggy and I have to change it, I will change it. I will get another one. I absolutely love it. Um, Longchamp's particular relationship with me because it's a brand that I wasn't attracted to for the longest time. I didn't like their nylon bags. I didn't understand why everybody carried them until I decided to take the plunge and get one. And I realized how awesome a bag it is. Plus living in Quebec, having every season, rain, snow, slush. I mean, we have it all. It's such a fabulous bag. So I absolutely love this tote because I can use it all year round. No questions asked, no worries. It's fabulous. And I have my small top handle bag, which is amazing. I would really like to get a small nylon bag, but that has a crossbody strap. That's the next item I would want to find in, in Longchamp, but definitely would replace. 
and this is does not Lochon, this is a leather luggage tag I got on Etsy. Um, I will link them below and I just had it hot stamped from them and I absolutely love it. So there you go, number one and two of what I would replace. Number three and four are going to be jewelry pieces, uh, pieces that are very, very sentimental to me and that I truly, truly love. Um, one of them being my Tiffany & Co. Elsa Peretti gold bean necklace on this 16 inch chain. I wear this almost every single video and I got this years ago uh, for my birthday from hubby and what I love about it so there you go that's what it looks like and what I love about it is the bean represents the beginning of all things which in itself to me is so powerful such a powerful thought such a powerful symbol and you know I had gotten this because well I, I wanted it I absolutely loved it and on my wish list definitely is to get the matching bean earrings but you know uh, my husband and I have been through quite the infertility journey um, if it is something you'd be interested in hearing about let me know and I would be happy to share all of that um, but long story short we've been wanting a baby since 2012 and we're in 2021 so um, it's not something that's easy for everyone and I can tell you for me it has not been easy and it's been very painful and um, you know now we're going to be on an adoption journey but it's something that takes a lot of time and a lot of patience <laughs> um, so this this bean is extremely precious to me and it just gives me hope that's what this symbolizes for me hope Hope for what is to come. So that's the bean. And my other luxury uh, piece that I would replace hands down would be my Tiffany & Co. gold T-wire bangle. Uh, this is actually an item that I purchased. One of my sisters, her, um, her best friend had this and never ever wore it. And so I purchased it off of her. And, I had made payments, I had, you know, I didn't have the money for it at that time, and I worked for it. It was so cool that she sold it to me. So it's someone who's been close to my family forever. I've known her forever, and um, and I've worn it every single day since I got it. I love this bracelet. I'm always wearing it either with this, on its own. I'm in, I'm in leggings, no makeup on, I'll still have this bracelet on. I love it. It's just part of me, like my glasses are part of my face. I just adore this bracelet. And, you know, it's probably, it was probably the first or one of the first, you know, expensive pieces that I purchased for myself. So I absolutely love this piece and would replace it. Then I have SLGs that I want to talk about, which are actually, some of them are in, are in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me dig in here okay number five has to be my Longchamp leather key pouch I love this I can't recommend it enough I love this one a lot more than my canvas Louis Vuitton ones it's the same idea so you still have these key rings same design except these are not removable the Louis Vuitton ones are this one has this leather flap to protect the fabric underneath and then on each side you have pockets here to put cards so this is a six ring but because it's smushy leather it like molds when you put it into your bag so it ends up fitting like a four ring would whereas the louis vuitton ones they're like extremely rigid they won't they won't fold or smush or i absolutely love this for sure, if you put cards in it, you won't be able to get at that smushy action, right? But it'll be more stiff because you have rigid cards in it. But I don't use it for my cards. So I love this and it's a fraction of the cost of a Louis Vuitton. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this item. I absolutely adore it. 
another piece that I love in my SLGs, try and get it out, <laughs> is my Hermes Bastia. So I have two of these actually. One I have in the black Epsom leather and this one is in the ever color, uh, I believe calfskin leather. I love it. I love this one more than the Epsom leather. It's so soft and I just love it for my change. My other one I use for my headphones and I put my clipper in there. Um, but this one is really the one I use for change. I just love it's been so practical for like, okay, what do I need? I need a quarter. It's just so good. Um, it was really, really full. I just recently used a whole bunch of change. So um, it's, you know, has a lot of room left in it, but you could fit a ton in here. And I adore it. I can't rave about the Bastia enough. What is my favorite card holder? I have found my favorite card holder formula and it is the Calvi. So I ended up getting one the same leather to match this and I love it. I love how compact it is. I love that it snaps closed, but I also love that you can fit a lot in here. So I can fit a ton of cards like Right now it's not even near full, but I could probably fit like 10 cards on each side, fold some cash, put it in there. It's so good. Love it. I would definitely, I'm touching wood, replace my Calvi. I had to put the fan on, it got really hot. Okay, little break from SLGs, but I have more to come. Definitely a favorite of mine that I would replace would be my silk scarves, my luxury silk scarves. I love them, whether they be a full kahi, whether they be twillies, I absolutely adore them. I use them all the time. I'm always wearing my scarves. Um, now that fall is here, I wear them even more. Whether they be around my neck, I like to tie them in my hair, wrapped around a handle on my bag, I just love them. And one that I would be devastated if something happened to it, and I love it so, 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 so much. My favorite one of my collection is my Dior Mitza from the I Love Paris collection. This navy blue with the red hearts. I love this. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. And I think it just goes with everything. Um, and it just makes me so, so happy. It just makes me so happy. This is really a Maria print. So uh, this silk scarf, honestly, I think about getting uh, another one, like to have a backup of it, um, or to have two, one on my bag and one on my neck or something. Like, I just love it that much. I would be seriously considering getting a second one. Love it. And now I have my last three items. So one is a bag and two are SLGs. In terms of another bag I would replace, my Aspinall Margot. Um, I would, I have two of them. I have a black and a navy blue. This is the black one. Um, Whichever one, whichever one, if something happened to, I would replace it. But touching wood because this bag is, I believe, discontinued, so I won't be able to replace it if something happens. Um, but I absolutely adore this bag. I chose this over my Alma BB because I love my Alma BB. That's so precious to me. I got it for my birthday last year, and I got my blue Margot for my birthday this year. And my Alma BB, I just adore it, but I don't wear it as much as this, as these ones. I wear these so much more than my Alma BB. Why? My Alma BB is very, very, they're pretty much the exact same shape, the exact same, exact same size, but this one is so, it's lighter weight, it's more smushy, 
um, I can just fit more in it and I just like that it's not you know crazy branding and so it's just so much easier to wear it's more subtle it's a luxury bag but very very subtle it doesn't scream you know Louis Vuitton and sometimes I just don't want to be screaming the brand I'm wearing sometimes I do but a lot of the times I don't so um, that's why I keep reaching for my Margot. I absolutely love this bag. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> and that's why I loved my blue one so much that I got for my birthday that when the black went on sale, I grabbed it. Um, I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I will link them below. I know they had black and orange left, the marmalade color, which is beautiful. Um, and if I had unlimited funds, I would get that orange one as well, even though I don't know if I have the character yet to wear that, to pull it off, but it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Um, Yota, you could pull it off. I think you should pick that one up. Plus it's so special because I just put it away, but it's, I kind, it kind of reminds me of an Hermes. Uh, they have a bag in this style. I don't remember what it's called. I'll insert a picture, um, but I just, I love, love my Margot. So yeah, I think in my favorite handbags in my collection, it has to be my Aspinall of London bags. I'm definitely an Aspinall girl. And Gwenny, that is all your fault. <laughs> I had never heard of them until styled by Gwenny. And now I'm a dude. Okay, last two items are SLGs. One that I would replace for sure would be my Chanel Mini case. Now this one is in the Chevron lambskin. I love how kind of rock and roll it is with the studs. I just love this pouch. I use this a lot more than I use my Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette. I use this way, way more. I like how compact and slim it is, yet when it's full, I mean, it'll poof a little bit, okay, kind of like that, but it's still super smushy, so it just takes way less room than the mini pochette does, because the mini pochette's pretty thick, and you can still fit a lot in here. You could fit more in the mini pochette, but this fits everything that I need, which is like band-aids, I'll have a little pill case, glasses cleaning wipes, a couple lippies, lip liner, um, you know, nail clippers, an emery board like a glass emery board I love. All that fits in here. I love it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> I don't regret this at all. Um, I I use it all the time. I'm, I don't use it in this bag, but I use it in, if I use my Margot, this will be in there for sure. The mini pochette I tend to use more if I'm carrying, for example, my Speedies, my Speedy 25s um, or a bigger bag like that. But other than that, it is my mini case. And last but not least is another item that's discontinued. It's the Porte Monnaie Ronde de Louis Vuitton, so the round coin purse. I'm, I'm like hesitant talking about it because it's another piece that they discontinued, which I don't understand why. They do come out with special editions, like with the Christmas animation. So you'll have one side that's the monogram and the other side will be artwork. Um, but I don't, they don't sell this classic one anymore. And I remember I had hesitated so much to buy this and I ended up getting it. And I think it got discontinued like not long after. Um, and I was so happy that I had gotten it. And I just adore it. I don't use this for change. I used to use this for my headphones, um, kind of the way I use my other Bastia. But what I always use this for, no matter what the situation is, it's my travel jewelry holder. I always use it for that. So if I'm going away for the weekend, we're taking a road trip, any traveling we're gonna do, this will be with me. Especially if we do, we do a lot of road trips. We drive for a lot of hours to go see family in the States. We used to go to New Brunswick to go see another sister. You know, we like to do a lot of 
long trips this would be with me and then like I get tired in the car and I'll take there you go my bracelet off take my earrings off and just slide them in here my Pandora's fit in here um, well not Pandora's but like one full Pandora will fit in here um, but if it's something like just my bangle like this I'll be able to put this bangle in there my chain my earrings my rings will all fit in there and then I'll just zip it and it'll just keep them all safe and organized and I love it for that so that's what I use this for it's actually my travel jewelry holder and I mean when I'm traveling I don't carry 15 kind of 15 different pieces of jewelry like I'll just my basic bracelet my bean um you know little hoops and maybe some gold studs it's gonna be pretty simple um so this is perfect for that and i love it this is a piece that sadly i would not be able to replace unless i go in the pre-loved market um so touching wood let's hope nothing happens to it so there you go those are my 10 pieces that i would replace let me know what you think. I really am looking forward to reading what you think, what your choices are, if you have favorite items in your collection. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. I've recently hit 500 subscribers. I'm now at 506 and I'm super excited about it. So I am looking to pick something up and we're gonna do a little thank you contest because I'm so grateful, oh my goodness, for my amazing subscribers who've been following me through this journey the past year and who've been so supportive and so understanding and loving towards me. Saying I have gratitude is an understatement. So I've been through a lot in the past year um yeah it's been you know had a lot of ups and downs and i've had the most loyal amazing subscribers follow me through all of that and support me through all of that and so saying thank you and doing a little draw for 500 subscribers is the least i can do um so stick around watch out for that that will be soon and in the meantime, I wish you the very best. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you very, very soon. Big hugs.